Welcome to MTT 258 Machine Tool Cam, video number three. And in this video, we're going to explore some of the snapping mode examples. And what we want to do is focus in on the snap mode toolbar at the top of the screen, as well as the geometry constructor toolbar also at the top of the screen. So the first thing that we want to do is select the snap to grid snapping mode. We're going to select a line connected. And you'll note that I can draw a line from any one of these grid points. As my cursor gets close to a grid point, it automatically locks onto it. This is Snap to Grid. And when we're complete with the geometric feature, we can push the Escape key to finish it out. Next, let's take a look at uh, Snap to Point. We can unselect Snap to Grid and then select Snap to Point. And you'll note this small point in the middle of the circle, we can get the cursor close to that point and it highlights. And I can draw a line from the point or from this particular point. And let's say we wanted to draw a line from this particular point to the end point of this line right here. So what I do is while I'm selected, I can go snap to end point and highlight that particular snap mode and now I can drag this line endpoint to finish or complete right on the end of the line segment that was at the bottom of the part. So moving along, let's unselect these particular snap modes. Now let's take a look at snap to midpoint. And let's highlight that. And notice that the, uh, the line, connected line, is still highlighted. And let's draw a line from the midpoint of this particular segment at the bottom of the screen. And note that when I get the cursor close to the midpoint, it highlights and shows me where the midpoint is. And then I simply click to select my starting point for the line. And let's see if we can get another endpoint or the endpoint of this particular line to be at the midpoint of the right-hand segment of this box. And there you have it. And then hit Escape to finish the feature. So. The next one you'll have is Snap to Section. Now these are predefined sections, and you can note that in this case here, it's divided every quarter of an inch is a section. So I can snap to this section, and then snap to the section, same section on the bottom line segment. So you can see how this particular feature is extremely useful. The next type of snapping mode is Snap to Intersection. So let's unselect Snap to Section and click on Snap to Intersection. And what this is going to do is going, it allows us to start our line from the intersection of two lines or segments. So I can snap to that particular intersection. And look, I can snap to this endpoint here, or which is also an intersection, which allows me to select it. The next type of snap mode is snap to center. And this is snapping to the center of a circle or snapping to the center of a radius. So let's go ahead and click on that. And we're going to leave the two or the connected line ge geometry constructor highlighted. And what I want to do now, and you'll note that as soon as I clicked on that mode, the center points of our circles and radiuses highlighted. Now there's a small plus inside the circles and there's a small plus that indicates where the radius center is. So let's say I want to draw a line from the center of this large circle here. I left click on, on the center point to start and I finish it off at the center point of the radius at the bottom lower right of the screen. It's really that simple. Next is Snap to Quadrant. And just like the icon shows you, it's going to allow you to snap to any one of the quadrants of a circle at 0, 90, 180, or 270 degrees. So when I highlight that snap to quadrant, note that when I come over to my circle, it highlights at the top of the circle at 0 degrees, or the right side at 90, the bottom at 180, or the left-hand side at 270. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the bottom. I'm going to start my line at that particular quadrant 
and I'm going to draw a line from the from the bottom quadrant of this larger circle to the upper quadrant of this smaller circle. Next is snap to object, and this can be fairly useful. Uh, snap to object allows you to select anywhere on a feature that you desire. In this case here, I, it's, it, I can slide anywhere on this line uh, segment, and it's going to allow me to start or start the selection point uh, anywhere on that particular segment. Likewise, on the circle, I can follow it around anywhere as long as I'm on that object. The next one that we have is Snap to Tangent. And what Snap to Tangent allows us to do is it allows us to draw a line or connect uh, two objects together um, from the tangent of that particular arc or circle. So I'm going to draw a line from the tangent of this smaller circle to the tangent of this larger circle. And you can see how it lines up. It automatically adjusts to ensure that the line is tangent on each one of the circles. So if I want to draw a line tangent from this circle to a point tangent on this arc, likewise, you can see exactly how that works. Mm -hmm.